Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a little tutorial on Ratchet and Clank. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the infinite bolts guide on Railgar. And I'll be showing you like four methods on how to do this. So if you ever played Ratchet and Clank before you probably know of this method and that is the decoy glove method and the other methods that I will be showing you will be... I mean, they've been on YouTube before because that's where I got them from but I think they're like not as known and there's not really any high quality content out there. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the first method and I'll put a timestamp on the video on when the updated versions will be in the video just simply so you guys don't have to watch the whole video. But the first method is first method is the classic method and it's actually not too hard. However, the problem is it's like not very consistent. And I'm actually very glad I popped into this corner here because if you pop into here then it actually you have to you have to restart. You have to um Go out here, destroy the decoy gloves, and just restart. You kind of want to like get it as close as to you as possible, and then like aim it a little bit left. And I like to spam two down, and then boom, you should pop through. And you can angle the camera down, and you should just run along this edge until you come into a new area. You just go through this wall here, and you can't go any further. And you see this little, uh, you see the track over there, pretty much. Oh, you want to get the heli helipad out as well. So because the helipad is a lot slower, so you have like more time to react. You just long high jump, or whatever it's called, over to here. And a building should pop in, which you want to land on. Oh, feck, I missed it. Alright, so I failed that. You want to go a little bit more right. Um, I just side flipped off. Okay, that should be fine, actually. In fact, if you have a decoy glove out or a bomb, bomb glove out, you can kind of see the hitbox of where you're supposed to land. As you can see, like, it won't be visible, but if you, like, hover the crosshair, I guess you could call it, uh, it kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but, like, you can see where platforms that Ratchet can walk on. So you just want to, like, kind of aim towards, as you can see, it's, like, at there, you want to aim towards there, but if I aimed it down to the water, it doesn't show up, so you can see where you can actually go. And you don't want to go backwards because if you hit a certain point in the race, you will just teleport back. And if you want to know how to finish this little method, I will just post uh, a timestamp on the second part of this tutorial. So I'll just show you the point. I think it's just right at this finish line. If you go backwards, it should... Yeah. It sh it sh you could see the hoverboard there. If you get there while you're going backwards, it um, kicks. It puts you into the race because you're not meant to actually be on the hoverboard track. So the game thinks you're in the hoverboard race. So if you are on there and you go backwards, um, because if you went backwards in the race, it will just teleport you forwards. So if you went backward on the track, where it thinks you're in, I I, <laughs> I was so bad at describing things, guys. Sorry, but so the next area is like right here. With the, where these boxes are, you don't want to break these boxes. However, if you do break them, the simple way of fixing them is to leave the level, which is annoying because you have to go back to the ship and then just respawn them. However, if you just break the nanotech, you can just death abuse. So you can just drown Ratchet and it should come back. So you just want to jump towards sort of the left of the tree to do the SI. So the technique we're going to do here is called an SI. And uh, I'll do a video on how to do it. Um, and it should be in the description. However, it's not if it's not up there yet. That means I just haven't created it So before the corners down there uh, We don't want to head over there. We don't have over that direction simply because you can just come here Long jump and just hover over to the track. It's just right here. So it's really easy Another indicator of course that uh, will spawn Ratchet back on the race is just essentially you know, dying. So you don't want to do that because it would just spawn you back. However, I just want to mention if you do break the boxes, it's not totally the end of the world because what you could do, hello, um, is you can just destroy a lamp and you want to land on the center of the broken lamp. It's actually not that easy to do. Okay. And you just want to spam X as fast as possible and you just want to glide towards here and Ratchet should land and then you can just Go back over here and just simply long jump or high jump. And another method, just in case you're struggling with that particular SI, is there's another SI over here by Quark's trailer. And pretty much what you want to do is you kind of want to land on top, like around here where my crosshair is. You kind of want to land 
on the top there because if you land low where I kind of landed I kind of landed like on the lower section it, it will just Ratchet won't be able to get high enough to get on top of like the invisible floor so you don't really want to grind up against it as well uh, because Ratchet will just slide down it so what you want to kind of do is you want to kind of go out and then bring Ratchet in towards the top of it and he should be able to SI that was too low so I just need to essentially I like to do a spin for some reason spins work for me and boom we're on top and essentially when you're here you want kind of want to position Ratchet over this little exhaust pipe on the truck and uh, just long jump and make your way over here once you do that just hop on this and boom you're up that's all you have to do you just fly over here and another thing I should mention uh, I probably should have mentioned this in the first place is that you're gonna need the taunter you for sure always need the taunter but you get that on nebula g34 so by the time you even get to Railgar, you would have visited that planet so if you don't have it just go to the Vendatron it's the cheapest gun in the game I'm pretty sure it's like just 1500 bolts so there's a little bonus tip here just in case you know you ever want to practice uh, neutral long jumps really easily here let's see how long I can do this oh Ah, fuck. Okay. Well, you get the idea. But in my opinion, the updated version, which is the SI version with the pink tree, the reason why that's better is because you can get the infinite money glitch as soon as you get to Railgar, whereas if you wanted to do the decoy glove glitch, which is the most known one, you have to get to planet Pokitaru, which is a couple of planets after Railgar, so this is not necessarily as effective. So as soon as you get to Railgar, you can actually get the Rhino and you can get 1 million bolts. And why justify that this isn't really, you know, that bad for your playthroughs is uh, simply because it's, it's simple because to get what, 1 million bolts, I believe it is, you have to play the game 5 times and that is just, you know, I enjoy this game, but no, I'm not playing it 5 times in a row. And I'm pretty sure to get the Rhino, you have to play it like 2 or 3 times and it's just, yeah, fuck that. Whoa. So if you play the race for the first time, you'll see these boxes here, but as you can see, they, my one is a little bit broken. And essentially why that is, is because if you play the race and break the boxes, I, I don't think it does it all the time, but sometimes the boxes don't respawn. So if I just break this, also a good rule of thumb of where to stand for this glitch is right in between these two lights here. You just kind of in front, but not directly below. And you want to have the bolt grabber. Uh, you don't need it, but you get a little bit more bolts. Um, yeah, but they instantly respawn. But sometimes there's a little glitch where the boxes don't respawn. So if you do do this, you want to get a million bolts in just one, you know, playthrough. You don't want to leave this racetrack without a million bolts is what I'm trying to say. Because if you come back here again, it might not, res like the boxes might not be there. However, that does happen, you there's only two ways to fix that. And A is to load a pre, or three ways I guess. Load a previous save, do it with just like these boxes. Uh, I don't think you get bolts from those. With these boxes here, like the, the two by twos, you can just turn your back to them. And you can just rubber band them, however, it's really slow and it will take about 30 hours to get to a million volts. Whereas this one will just, you know, you can just leave it on overnight and you will 100% get at least a million volts. And one thing I want to mention, these guys here, they might push you. Because if I stand in their path, as you can see, they push Ratchet around. So if you're rubber banded, rubber banding your controller overnight, these guys might push you away. Like, like if I'm shooting this, but then like... I, he points me like over here. I'm only getting half of the boxes. So it's not necessarily that efficient. So it might ruin your efficiency. So you essentially just wanted to kill these guys. Oh, I might have, I don't know. Just for the sake of it, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bonus area on how to do the infinite money glitch. That isn't really showing. On the PS2, I think it's a little bit more viable, but it's not that effective on the ps3 version as the decoy glove glitch is just way better however if you come down to the water section and make your way to over here uh there will be just one of these things that you have to break you take out the taunter and you want to put ratchet up on this little platform and we want to position him to where the taunter is pointing towards the ceiling and because you can hear there's boxes breaking 
and it doesn't seem to be working. I think it's a lot more efficient on the PlayStation 2 version, like I said. But there is a way, there is a way to do an infinite money glitch here. You guys can try it on the PS2 version if you do happen to be using that. But essentially why it would work here is because the hoverboard track is right above this little area here. But yeah guys, that pretty much just wraps this tutorial up. I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about with the boat glitches in this game. That's pretty much everything, or at least the most effective methods for getting boats. There is another way you can get boats, and that's essentially the infinite spawning... Like, the, the things that spawn enemies, the small enemies, infinitely. You can technically grind those out infinitely and get infinite boats from those, but that's not really a passive way of making boats. So it's not that effective. So... And also, I would recommend just looking up how to rubber band your controller. It depends on the controller you use. Rubber banding with the PlayStation 4 controller is a lot easier as you can just hold down circle and then disconnect your controller with only the PS4 controller, just saying. Just keep that in mind when you are doing this. So yeah, that pretty much just wraps it up and goodbye.